A. So today we're going to talk about something controversial. I may drop a few F bombs. So if you're not mature enough for this conversation, bye, Felicia. Just kidding. So the F bomb is for parents. So a lot of people have the wrong idea about what is really happening. Even the professional real estate agents out there aren't giving you some of the good right advice. So that's where I jump in to share with you the facts. So let's listen up. All right, I'm going to share my screen here and get going. Whoops, we don't want to go here. You got all your seeing all my good stuff. Okay, here we go. Play. Okay, four major reasons households and forbearances won't lose their homes to foreclosure. I did post an article about this in my blog, so be sure to take a look or I can email it to you if you'd like. So the number of mortgages in active forbearance slightly declining. So you're going to see back from May 29th all the way to April 2nd. We were almost at 5 million in May now um, of last year, of course. And then down to April 2nd, we were just over 2 million. Great sign. The number of mortgages and active forbearances are declining in the millions. So February 26th, we were at 2.71 million and April 9th, 2.31 million. That means a lot of, so what happened here was about when this started, the uh, banks were giving them a 360 day plan. And now we're starting to see more and more homeowners roll off of that plan. So upon from the, Upon exit from forbearance plan, we have about nearly 50% were paid in full when they started their forbearance. 35% um, worked out a repayment plan and 15% were still are still in trouble. Very low numbers there. Upon leaving the forbearance borrowers are, here's another graph, just another way to look at it, depending how, what visual activity you like to see. So paid in full, we have um, about 52% down to 48%. And my numbers are scrambled here, but you can see. And what is the most concerning for everybody is the one in red. How is that looking, the troubled homes, and how is that going to affect our market? It's down to 15%, and we're doing really good. And those homes are just going to be consumed with a market like that. It's not going to slow down um, anyway or bring the value down. So just had this conversation yesterday in the same way that grandparents, great grandparents were shaped by the Great Depression. Much of the public today remembers the 2006 mortgage meltdown and the foreclosures, unemployment and bank failures it created. No one with any sense wants to repeat that experience. No, we do not. And it may explain why so much real estate equity remains mortgage free. Fact, a lot of homeowners are debt free when it comes to their mortgages. Banks learned a lesson. So what we are seeing here, foreclosure prevention activity. In 2008 and 2009, you can see the red. Um, I'll just read this before I start giving you my two cents. Okay, the foreclosure prevention activity, home retention actions, which helped delinquent borrowers stay in their homes included permanent loan modifications, repayment plans, forbearance plans, payment deferrals, and charge offs in lieu. So. You can see when the banks took action, this is in the red, how many people that they worked with. So under 600,000. Now you can see in the blue today, where we're at much higher, the banks learned a lesson, they are acting fast to make a plan for the homeowners who are in trouble or who need the help. Mortgage companies could face penalties if they don't take steps to prevent a deluge of foreclosures that threatens to hit the housing market later this year. A U.S. regulator said the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau warning is tied to forbearance relief that's allowed millions of borrowers to delay their mortgage payments due to the pandemic. Mortgage servicers should start reaching out to affected homeowners now to advise them on ways they can modify their loans. The CFPB proposes mortgage servicing changes. So there has been a proposed, a few proposals here with the legislation as to how they want to handle this. I won't read through all of it. Pause it if you'd like to read it, but these are what um, are being proposed to help make sure we don't have a repeat. Distribution of loans and active forbearance by current combined loan to value. So uh, what we are seeing here that um, 
we have a lot of strong equity in some of these homes um, as a result of lessons learned. So going out in 2008, people handle their equity much differently. In forbearance, we see the numbers coming down and people are working out a plan. Definitely seeing that 90% um, of at least have at least 11% equity. And why is that so important? Because even if, so that's a big number, by the way, 90% of homeowners, we only are seeing 10% um, percent of homeowners who don't have any equity in their home. So if they got in trouble, we were only seeing 10% may not be able to get their home sold and have money in their pocket. Whereas 90% of the homeowners can sell, at least sell it, pay the realtors, pay their closing costs, and still have a little money in their pockets, then move on. No foreclosures. This is very different from the increase of in delinquencies following the housing bubble. Lending standards have been fairly solid over the last decade, and most of these homeowners have equity in their homes, and they will be able to restructure the loans once if they are employed. So. As we just showed you in the graph, there is plenty of equity. So I am going to get out of here. Hello. And just want to summarize that if you have any more questions about forbearance, I hope this helps you understand where we are really, what the economy is looking like as far as housing is concerned, that homeowners have a lot of equity in their home still today. And if there was a something happened, they could just put it on the market, sell it, and trust me, it would be bought like that as long as you price it right. That's always important. Let's price it right. So as always, have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Please share this video with anybody you think has the need to hear the F word. Okay, have a great day. Talk to you soon.